Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to embed a Google Sheet or Doc on a website. So firstly, log into your Google Drive, click on New, Google Sheet and click on Blank Sheet. So here's a blank sheet. So we can just start typing some numbers. Just this, this is just an example. Okay. Once you've entered all the data on your spreadsheet, you need to share this spreadsheet. So in order to share this spreadsheet, click on here, share. Give it a name. Embed a Google Sheet. I'm just going to give that a name. Then change it to anyone with the link. Click on this. Click on done. Now what you need to do is publish this sheet to the web. So click on file. It should be published to the web here. Click on that. You have the option to choose to share and embed the whole Google Sheet or if you've got multiple sheets, you can select the specific sheets. So if you click on embed, and in this particular case, let's just share one sheet. And then you can click on publish. Are you sure you want to publish this section? Yes, we do. Here we go. So that's the, the actual iframe code. This is the iframe code that you need to copy and include in your website. I will be using WordPress as an example. Just a few things you need to be aware of that when you update something on the Google Sheet, it would take about five minutes for the Google Sheets to actually republish the changes. So that's one thing you need to note. So let's do that. I'm going to paste it here. Example. Google embed. Now you need to add the custom HTML block. So click on the plus here, select custom HTML. If you don't see it on the list, just click on browse all. And then do a search for custom HTML. Then paste your code in here. Click on preview. Preview the tab and let's see how it displays. Perfect. You will see the data here. Now let's make a few changes so you can have the option of modifying a few things in the iframe. One of the things you can do is change the width. So in the iframe you can add width equals 100%. So that will make sure that the width of the iframe is fits the, the page. Now you can also add, if you just want to display, just say these, these four cells. So from A1 to B2, just get to the end here, put and amp and 
then the colon and you're gonna put range equals a1 to b2 so that's gonna only display the cells from a1 to b2 now also if you don't want to show any of the um, headers and footers what you can do is put a n percent amp then colon chrome equals false so that would remove the header and footer so you won't see the sheet name at the bottom let's have a look how this looks like okay so this looks good so you won't see the header and footer I'm only displaying these four cells and it's a hundred percent so the width of this page here because I've got a sidebar here so this page here now as I mentioned before if you update the spreadsheet it will take about five minutes for Google Sheets to republish the changes so what you need to do is we need to add some code that tells the actual page to refresh also every five minutes otherwise if it's not if it doesn't do that it will always display the same values until the next refresh so in order to do that just gonna paste some code here the code that I'll be pasting is this it's a, a, a meta tag which tells it that every 300 seconds which is about roughly exactly five minutes it would refresh the the page so let me show an example firstly let me make some changes so as you can see here the values is a b I'm going to change this one to e it's saving okay it's saved now now let's preview this so now it's, it's loading the page with that meta tag so that every five minutes it will automatically refresh so at the moment it's still AB let me put a, a, a time a clock and a timer here so this is a stopwatch let's start it and we see that after five minutes this page will automatically refresh and this value will be changed okay it looks like we're reaching almost to the five minute mark and yep there we go it has automatically refreshed and the value has changed to e now so this is how to embed a google sheet or or possibly even a google doc on a website i hope this video helped and if you did give it a like and subscribe to the channel